Hi, we're Josh and Steph, and we have been married for almost 20 years. We have three kids who practically grew up in breweries. Over the last decade, we have visited over 200 breweries in multiple countries. Last year, we started to document our trips to the breweries so that we could share our experiences with you. Also in this time, we have taken our passion and love of craft beer and started home brewing. In January, we made a big announcement. We bought a combi keg that was restored in Bali and shipped across the Pacific Ocean to California. We hope you enjoy as we share our adventures. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Today we are setting out on another adventure. We were invited by Tampa Limo Tour to be chauffeured around Tampa in ultimate luxury while going to breweries. Yay! How much better does it get than that? It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so if you saw a few weeks ago, we posted on our social media page to invite some friends along and left it up to the first grads. We have six friends that will be joining us. Joining us here at Tampa Lima Court. This started out of a labor of love. I'm curious about having fun. So the first thing that you're gonna see when you get into the car that I've decorated, I've got some ring pops for everybody because Ooh. ring pops bring out fun flavors. And what does yes. beer do? Bring out a <laughs> Amazing flavor. So let's get you guys in the car. Our first stop is going to be Zydeco. I actually have a menu there. Uh, but I'm not going to give away too many of the stories because there's some really cool stories that I'm learning 
that I'm going to be unveiling for my haunted brewery tour. <laughs> Appreciate you coming in. Yep. We have all been here. Oh yeah, many times. We have a tradition yeah. where you got to do three shots of tequila. Oh my god. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> You're reading a little bit of history right here. My, my father and, and uh, Gussie Bush, who owned Anheuser Bush, were very good friends. Oh, really? So we got the Budweiser distributorship in Gainesville, Florida in 1960. So was Garage Maris, a baseball player for the Yankees sure. in 1967. And Mr. Bush gave us Tampa. My family still owns that. So I walked away from that to start my own brewery. His son, Peter, owned me about five years ago. He said, Beth, your uh, brewery open yet? I said, no, Mr. Bush, why? I'm going to send you a little present. I'm thinking of Budweiser Neon, Zydeco, like, where, where am I going to put that in here? Right, right. It's in the men's room. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> These two slabs show up, and I call them back. I said, Pete, tell me about these. He said, I'm over to the tree up on my island estate in St. Louis. And it's called Grant's Farm because Ulysses S. Grant, Grant's cattle there, that he grew up in the bush. Wow. Still stands there. Oh, it's called Grant's Farm because Ulysses S. Grant's cabin that he grew up in as a boy still stands there today. Oh, but as a boy, Ulysses' father used to make him plant sy sycamore trees on the back forty. It's a 200-year-old sycamore tree planted by Ulysses wow. and Grant. Oh, wow. Grant's farm in St. Louis. All of the times we've been here, this is always the table to So you're the one that with a bubble is, gum on the bottom? Yeah. Every time, yeah. Because I gotta keep track of how many times I've been here. Oh, what did you Five. 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 <laughs> oh, <laughs> bubble gum. <laughs> for the Rough Riders. Now, on the second floor, because they use all the buildings, was a brothel. Well, at the end of the war, um, the Rough Riders got really excited, and they took out their pistols, and one of them shot through the floor. Oh, no. Unfortunately, one of the ladies was working, and she passed away. Her ghost still lingers on the second floor. She's actually very friendly. She'll just uh, close the doors and mess with them a little bit. When you go in that, one of the great pictures there is they actually have an uh, homage to Teddy Roosevelt in the building. They actually have a picture there. Tampa, there's more beer per capita that's brewed here and small breweries than any place else in the country. These guys all go to each other's brewery. They sit at the bar with each other. They drink together. They talk together. They share stuff together. It's a family here. Cigar City Insider and Mead is a sister company to the world famous Cigar City Brewing. Cider is fermented apples, apple juice. It's absolutely amazing. And then of course there's mead, which is honey. Um, more high test. These are fun, crazy flavors. They've got some amazing flavors here. Let's go, come on. <laughs> from the bubbly of beer. You know? So we are here at Bastet Brewing. It is the Tampa Bay Ale Trail meetup. Yeah, so we are finally getting to cash in on all the breweries we've been going on the Ale Trail. And once you get to 40, you get all the goodies. So you make the full 77, which is our goal by the end of the year. So this is our first check-in. And our 40th stop, as if we planned it that way. 
the best part is we did it in complete luxury with Tampa Limo Tours. That's all right. Hi. Hi. We, we got, got a book. book. How many you think you're at? I like your 40s. got back from our amazing guided limo tour of Ybor City visiting amazing breweries with our awesome guide and chauffeur Chad. So if you're looking for that one-on-one -on -one, uh, local knowledge and experience uh, with a brewery tour and you want the pickup and drop off to be as convenient as possible. Tampa Limo Tours is the way to go. Absolutely. It was an amazing experience. And we've been to a lot of breweries and we've been to the same breweries. We just had a totally different experience with this than what we've had just doing it on our own. So if you get the opportunity, check them out. The link's below. It's it. super fun. Cheers.